Studnik Aquatics here. This is my 240 gallon saltwater aquarium. It is eight foot long, two foot front to back, and two foot top to bottom. I've had it for about five years. I have a number of fish in there. Um, Stars and Stripes Puffer, One Spot Fox Face Rabbit Fish, Atlantic Blue Tang, Rusty Angel, Percula Clowns, a Damsel, a Snowflake Eel, and I decided to add some more fish. And I picked these up. It was about a three and a half hour trip one way. Um, I picked up this really nice butterfly fish. I think it's listed as a dash dot butterfly. And then I picked up 10 various types of damsels to put in here to give me movement. The other thing that we've done is I did change the way this looks. I added this rock work on the end. I kind of like it. Um, a lot of times you have that shelfy rock stuff coming off, you know, in the shallows and then it works its way out into the coral reef. And that's what I'm trying to duplicate here. I think it turns out really well. I'm getting a lot more movement with my fish with it. There you can see the, there's the snowflake eel right there. The Atlantic blue tang's hanging out. He's getting big. So anyway, we're going to do a release on him in a little bit. We're acclimating him now and then we will release these fish. I have all the fish in the bucket now. It's a five gallon bucket. I put all the water in. I'm going to start to drip acclimate. And what I have in here is there are four of the three striped damsels. Four of the three striped damsels. There are four yellow tailed damsels. There is one three spot damsel. And then there's one damsel. I'm not sure what it is. In addition to that, I have a butterfly fish. They had it listed as a dash dot dash butterfly and I'll have to look that up to make sure that's correct but it's just a beautiful fish so I'm gonna start acclimating them and I'll add more to this in a little bit I prefer to drip acclimate on saltwater fish and so I have the bucket in here with the water this is the water that the fish were that the fish were in when I got them and basically on this hose it just has a whole piece on the end that I can hang over my outlet there and you just follow the hose down it has a valve on here so you can adjust it you start a siphon and then you can adjust it down. Now, if this was just one little bag of water with one fish in it, I'd just be dripping. But there's, you know, a good gallon and a half of water here. So I just have a nice little stream going into it. And we'll do this for 35, 40 minutes. Uh, the butterfly was a little short on air. There wasn't much air left in the bag when we got here. So I'm a little concerned about that one. It's, it's reaching for the top a lot. So. I might kick that up a little bit to increase the oxygen in that water. So we'll see how this goes. This butterfly concerns me. It's sucking the top a lot. They didn't do a good job when they bagged it, and I didn't realize it before we put it in the cooler. Um, the air was in there, but it lost most of its air. So I think it's short on oxygen, and I think we need to get it in some oxygen-rich water. I have two wet-dry filters in this thing, so this water in here is very oxygen-rich. Um, it's doing a little better now, but see, it keeps coming to the top. So. I think we're going to go ahead and try to release this one, see how this goes, and then I'll hold off on the others. So we got it in the net. Keep the puffer away from it. It's a beautiful butterfly fish. And this water is very oxygenated. That's why I went with uh, wet dry filters because they just super oxygenate your water. It just, you'll, you'll never have a problem with oxygen in your water if you use wet dry. So anyway, he's swimming around good. Um, kind of finding a little spot there to hide in. And I'll have to look up for sure exactly what kind it is, but it is a beautiful fish. And having all these damsels and stuff are gonna, gonna help us out a lot. It's gonna add a lot of movement. So. Hopefully we can get it to eat properly. I do have quite a bit of spirulina algae around. I have spirulina flakes. See the damsel's trying to pick on it a little bit, so that's gonna be a little tough. So I think I better get everybody else in there. I think we're gonna do that now. That way we don't have a problem with that. Shut that off. And let's get some movement in that tank so everybody isn't focused on trying to just pick on one fish. Come on, one more in there. Get in there. Yeah, we got one really smart one. Okay, here we go. There they go. That will give us some movement.
They're all over in there. They're moving everywhere. They're all looking very, very good. But that should create enough confusion so that everybody isn't picking on that, that one butterfly fish. And the butterfly has moved down here and that kind of kind of spreads out the aggression. So we'll let these things work just a little bit. I'll move this bucket out of the way and then we'll film this again. Okay, I did add the 10 fish to the aquarium. And the one that's causing the most problems is this big black damselfish right here. He's just being really mean to this butterfly. And he's chasing all the little ones too, but the little ones are doing a better job of hiding. They're kind of, you know, we have one up here. If you start looking, they're just tucked all over in this thing. I don't know that I could catch that black one out of there. He is so fast and it's such a big tank. If I could catch him, I could throw him into the refugium and he could live in there for a while until they calm down. But I don't know. Um, he's not chasing the butterfly all the time because he's not doing it right now. I mean, the butterfly is way over here. So because I also put 10 damsels in here. There are four three-striped damselfish. There are four yellow-tailed damselfish. Um, there is one three-spot damselfish, and there's another damsel. I don't know what kind it is. I'll have to look it up. So there's enough new fish in there that everybody with aggression is having a hard time focusing on one fish. And that was kind of the idea. So the butterfly's up top now looking good. It's not like sucking the top. It's not, you know, up in a corner. It's just kind of cruising the country trying to find a place where it can live. So I think it's going pretty good. Obviously, I'll be doing an update on this down the road, but I've been wanting to put some new fish in here for quite a while, and I was glad that I've done this. So I'll probably add some more to this later or do another update or something like that, but for now, it looks like things are going pretty good. I released them a little sooner than what I normally do on an acclimation, but the butterfly fish was sucking the top because the air in its bag had had gone away and I wasn't aware of it when it was in the box. So I kind of needed to get it into the tank as quick as I could to get it oxygen and when I did that fish started picking on it especially the black one and so rather than have all of that aggression go towards that one fish that's struggling I threw all 10 damsels in there at the same time and now the black one can't figure out who he's supposed to be chasing because right now he's over here trying to chase this little yellow-tailed damsel. Well, he can't chase everybody because it doesn't work that way. He's going to wear out. So anyway, this is Studnik Aquatics, and I'll do an update later. Thanks for watching.